Hi guys, I'm Chad with Progressive RC, and you're tuning in to learn a little bit more about soldering. I'm going to go over three really good tips to help you solder much better on your RC equipment. Number one, using the correct gear. You want to make sure that you have a solid soldering iron, really good solder, something to clean your solder iron with, a soldering stand if you have access to it, and make sure that your soldering iron tip is the correct one for the job. If you don't have a soldering iron already, look for one that has adjustable temperature and a tip that has a coating on it. It's really important to make sure that your tip has a coating on it because if you buy some cheap one that doesn't have that coating, it's going to get oxidized really fast and it's going to just be eaten away by solder and heat and it's not going to last you very long and it's going to be really hard to solder with. The next thing is we need to have the right type of solder. I prefer a 60-40 rosin core, and what that means is it has flux built into the solder. That's rosin core. The gauge that I like to use is about one millimeter. Something for really fine work I found is really helpful is 0.5 millimeter solder. The last two things aren't really necessary, but they are a huge help, and that is a good soldering stand with a helping hands or some way of holding the component that you're soldering and a sponge or a ball of brass wool. And this really helps maintaining your soldering iron and we'll get more into that in the care section. But for now, it's just really good to have those components and if you don't, you can use a very, very lightly damp paper towel. And if you don't have helping hands, you can use your spool of solder to make soldering a little bit easier. If you do want to invest in getting some really good equipment, we recommend getting a solid soldering stand. The Progressive RC soldering stand is made out of Delrin, so it's going to last through all of the extreme heat changes and it has a really helpful helping hand on it, as well as several other little parts to hold different size bullet connectors. Another really important tip with choosing the correct iron is choosing the correct wattage and the correct tip size. There's a few different tip sizes. A smaller chisel tip will hold the heat a little bit better and will work better for like your EC3 or XT60 connectors, any of the three millimeter bullets, or a slightly larger chisel tip for EC5s. A really good tool to have when you're soldering is a good pair of anti-static tweezers. We're working on a lot of really small electrical components and you can absolutely mess them up with the static electricity running through your body. I recommend grounding yourself before soldering and you can Google how to do that or stand on an electrostatic mat, but a really solid pair of tweezers, mainly so you don't burn yourself when trying to solder thick gauge wire or something that you have to hold on to and it gets really hot, it's really helpful. If you don't have a pair of good tweezers laying around, you can absolutely take a pair of needle nose pliers and a rubber band and use this to hold your components. Thanks for tuning into this video. Hopefully you've learned a lot and you're more confident in soldering stuff on your mini multi-rotor. And if you have any other questions, definitely shoot us an email or a call. And of course, all of the products used will be in the description down here. Have a nice day.